Hello everybody, it's Rachel. Today I have a soft spoken video for you. It's going to be just a casual chat and I'm going to have a snack at the end because I just got home from work. It's 4.37 on a Tuesday and I was just really craving some pretzels and Nutella. So that's what I'm going to have. I'm going to wait until the end so that I can actually like chat with you a little bit. And so that those of you who don't like eating sounds don't have to watch that or skip over it in the beginning. One added feature is my crinkly rain jacket. This was actually a request from someone to do like a rain jacket video. And today it is currently 51 degrees and it's, it's not really raining now, but it's been gloomy, rainy, drizzly, and cold all day long. It is totally gray outside. So I thought it would be a nice time to come home and film a video. I also developed a little bit of like neck pain and just a headache. I think it was from not drinking a lot of water, but I thought that this was kind of would kind of be therapeutic for me as well and would help my headache. So I'm going to do some intentional crinkly noises with my jacket and then the rest will just be like um, unintentional. I love this sound so much. This is a North Face. I'm trying to see where the logo is. And obviously it's light gray with a super bright neon pink, which usually isn't my vibe, but I really liked the light gray, uh, which is different for me. Usually I would go for just like a classic black, but went with something different. It's nice and like, uh, I guess you would call it, yeah, it's like fleece lined and it has a big hood. Which is nice because when it's raining, your hood isn't like this, which happens with all other jackets. <laughs> I hope you can't hear that outside. So like I said, I just got home from work and the last time I did just like a chatty video with you, I was talking about my interview process and I don't think I've updated you, but I did get a job. I am now a second grade teacher, which has been crazy. 
hair's like all over the place. Um, but it's been a crazy adjustment. This is my second full week, although we had yesterday, which was Monday off, and next week is Thanksgiving, and then December is just crazy because of winter break, so there's been a lot of days off, and in general, it's just been a crazy transition, but I've enjoyed it so far. Uh, it's been really challenging, really difficult. There are some things that I've really, really struggled with, but for the most part, I love my kids, and it's been a good experience. Um, let's see, what else can I talk to you about? The weather has been crazy. It's going to be rainy all week, and it's been rainy for the past couple of weeks, like on and off. So having indoor recess repeatedly will drive any teacher insane because the kids get crazy. Uh, there's just something about being able to go outside and run around and get sunshine and fresh air that uh, kind of like resets a kid midday. So not having that, especially for the good majority of a week, is so challenging. Although having indoor recess is nice because I get an extra 30 minutes to like get things together or do things in the room. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what else to update you on. I mean, I didn't... Let's see. What did I do last week? Okay. This past weekend was actually a pretty busy one. Like I said, we didn't have school on Monday for Veterans Day. So, I had a nice, relaxing three-day weekend. On Saturday, my aunt had her baby shower. Uh, it's my mom's youngest sister, and she's pregnant with her first baby, which is my very first cousin, which is really exciting. She's having a boy, which is uh, very new for our family. I'm one of five girls, and my mom is one of three sisters. Uh, my dad has a brother, but Obviously, there's going to be males in my dad's family, but, uh, yeah, on my mom's side of the family, it's something totally different and new, and, uh, even for us, I've never had, clearly, a baby brother or really been around too many baby boys. Even the people that I know and would maybe have been around their kids, it's mostly girls. So, it's exciting, but very different. He will be born sometime in February, and oh, babies just, are just so cute, so I can't wait to be able to love upon him. But I had that, which was really nice, getting to meet some of her friends and co-workers and have all the party food. Um, let's see, Sunday... What did Joe and I do Sunday? Oh, okay. that was the family day. <laughs> so in the morning, uh, Joe and I went to have brunch, well really breakfast, it was 9.30, with my grandparents, which was really nice. They live super close to us. I mean like really close to us, like five minutes away. So, um, I keep on feeling like there's a hair or one of my eyelashes is caught, but I can't figure out what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, we have, we go see them, like, uh, frequently. So that's nice. Uh, like, having a really good relationship with them, uh, especially with Joe, because I know that some people's, like, partners don't have as good of relationships with their, like, extended family. 
even though I see my grandparents so much that they're, they don't seem like extended family to me. Um, we've always been super, super close with them. Um, but... was so annoying. I hope that was the eyelash at least. Okay, I'm gonna take off my uh, slippers. By the way, these are the best slippers. They're the UGG. I think they're called Scuffettes. I've had these for... I'm trying to think if I got them last year or the year before. I think it was... It had to have just been last year. And I wear them pretty much every day. And this is what the sole looks like. Besides those few little spots, I mean, they're not scuffed up at all. And I wear them outside. And they just, like, don't hold dirt. It's so odd. But, I mean, they're the best. They're so warm and cozy. I love them. They definitely keep your feet warm, though, so mine are... <laughs> my feet were getting toasty. But... Um, Sunday. We had brunch, and then I think we just hung out at home for a little while. And then in the afternoon, at 3.30, we met up with my family at a park that we always go to to take pictures. So my whole family, Joe, and my sister's boyfriend, we all went to take pictures. So that'll be nice to get some like fresh new pictures to be able to print out for home, but also for work because I have, I've printed out some pictures, but I just want to make it as like, oh my gosh, you guys, I did not get the hair. It's, there's something still there. I want to make it as, like, me as possible. Okay, I think I got it. Or I just yanked out another eyelash. Um, so that it feels like my space, and so I can also, like, look up and see pictures of people that I love. But that was really good. And then afterwards, we went to dinner, and it ended up taking so long. We were there for two hours. I think we waited over an hour, probably an hour and a half for our food. And I just, I don't know what the issue was. Like, they had one bartender, so it took forever for, like, my mom to get her drink. And that was after she was told that they didn't have two of the previous things that she wanted. But then, like, nobody around us was getting food either, so I don't know if they were, like, short-staffed or something, but that was interesting. Um, my foot is falling asleep. Um, I'm gonna start my snack now because I just looked down and remembered. <laughs> um, I have... Butter snaps, which are the best. the Costco uh, hazelnut spread. Basically, the store brand of Nutella. Oh my gosh. Does anyone else search out the broken pieces? Because I love them. So I don't know what the issue was and like we got our food and some of it had clearly been sitting there for a while because it wasn't hot so that was annoying obviously if you wait an hour and then your food's like lukewarm
wasn't just our table, so like the majority of the restaurant was that way, so they were struggling. And then yesterday, Joe and I woke up early. And um, we went to Costco and did our shopping there. What did we get? We got goldfish, Q-tips, um, which are the best deal at Costco. You get, you get 1,875 Q-tips for $9. We did the math on the car ride home and figured out that I think it'll last us about three years, a little bit less maybe. So nine bucks for three years worth of Q-tips. I think that's a good deal. If you want to upgrade this and make it easier, get the pretzel rods. That's really good too. Um, we got... Oh, they're frozen pizzas. The cheese ones. And... We got salmon, which we're gonna have tonight. They're pesto salmon. Just with some like red potatoes and asparagus. And then we got a few other things, but we do the majority of our grocery shopping at Walmart. Because we don't need a thousand onions <laughs> and like a huge bag of potatoes. Um, We got, I'm trying to think of some interesting things we got. We got ma maple Cheerios that are really good. And I'm not a cereal person at all. And we got some breakfast stuff, like their hash brown patties. Some of their frozen sausages. So I like to make these egg cups, which I feel like I've talked about them before, but it's shredded hash browns on the bottom with one little sausage link like cut up, and I put in a little bit of spinach, uh, an orange pepper, egg, and cheddar cheese on top. And they are so good. And it's nice because you can freeze them and then thaw them in the fridge and microwave them for about a minute. And they're so good in the morning and they're really filling too. And healthy. Yeah, we did that. Did about a million loads of laundry which I think like sums up adulthood, grocery shopping and laundry. We cleaned, folded the million loads of laundry, um, and then we've been watching the new version of Sabrina on Netflix. So we watched that, a few episodes. My camera just <laughs> overheated and shut off, but and of course, now I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, yeah, I totally can't remember. Except now, I really want pizza. Um, my kids are learning about nonfiction. And my book that I'm writing is like all about pizza shops. So, this morning, when we were talking about pizza shops at 8.30 in the morning... All I wanted was a thick piece of cheesy pizza. 
and it was 8.30 in the morning. So, that's always fun. Alright, last one, because it's 5.06 right now, and I'm going to have to make dinner soon. Let me know what you think of this type of video where I just kind of chat with you because they are certainly easy to do and I know that for a lot of people uh, their biggest source of relaxation comes from just speaking either softly spoken or whispered so yeah I also wanted to say that Work has made it more difficult for me to make videos just because I come home and I want to take a shower immediately and sometimes I have work still to do after I get home or I just want to relax and not worry about anything else. Um, but like I said, the next about month, I'm going to have a lot of days off with Thanksgiving and winter break. So hopefully, I'll be able to stockpile some videos for you. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you are having a deeply relaxing evening. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Good night.